This newscast can also be heard live on WGL, 1250 AM. Live, this is News Channel 15. News from people who know Fort Wayne. Now, Ellen Akins, Joe Gregory, weather specialist Sandy Thompson, and sports with Randy Schiffman. This is News Channel 15 at 6. The Huntington County Sheriff denies tighter law enforcement security could have prevented a work release inmate from murdering his ex-father-in-law before turning a gun on himself. Now, News Channel 15's Jeff Newmeyer has our top story. He says that police say the prisoner's employer may have allowed a breakdown in tracking Dave Watson's whereabouts before he went on a violent crime spree. The convicted drunk driver and habitual traffic offender was let out of the Huntington County Jail at 5 a.m. Saturday so he could head to his job at Fricky and Sons in Zanesville. More than nine hours later, police say Watson showed up drunk at his former in-law's house south of Warren, gunning down Estel Manns and seriously wounding Karen Manns. Watson later shot himself to death. Huntington County Sheriff Thais Wilhelm says her department totally unaware Watson had been on the loose for hours rather than on the job. No, we did not receive a call that he did not uh, arrive at work or was not at work. Even if they leave work early, they are to call and let us know. A spokesperson for Frick and Sons told me the company not required to report Watson's absence from work. But this Sheriff's Department employer agreement sets out participating businesses agree to, quote, account for and supervise the employee inmate during working hours and call the jail regarding any changes in an inmate's work schedule. Watson had been on work release 13 months and had no criminal history of violent behavior. Some local criminal justice officials fear this shooting will give the work release program a black eye, a program they contend is an effective tool in getting prisoners eased back into the mainstream of society. Prosecutor John Branham says the program has kept dozens of inmates and their families off public assistance yeah, sure. and that virtually all prisoners yeah, prove so no it's, problem. It's pretty carefully monitored. This time it didn't work. The program didn't fail. The individual did. Karen Manns, who survived a gunshot wound to the leg, relayed word through Parkview Hospital she doesn't hold the work release program responsible in the attack and that pointing fingers of blame now won't bring back her husband anyway. Jeff Newmeyer, News Channel 15. Estelle and Karen Mann's daughter, who is Dave Watson's ex-wife, believes Watson was trying to confront her over a child support payment issue when he killed her father and wounded her mother. But police have not released an official motive for the crimes. An off-duty police officer was in the right place at the right time today and ended up catching a suspected bank robber on the run. Just before 2 this afternoon, Officer Dennis Ramos spotted a suspicious man running across Bluffton Road. After learning the man may have robbed NBD Bank at Quimby Village, Ramos chased him into Foster Park. The suspect then jumped into the St. Mary's River to try and get away, but surrendered to Ramos when he saw other officers arriving. So far, the man hasn't been identified and no formal charges have been fired. At rather filed. Now, Officer Ramos has is experienced catching suspects while off duty. Last year, he, named, he nabbed Charles Red Smith trying to rob a grocery store. A horrifying accident this morning in Fort Wayne. A 15-year-old boy is in serious condition right now after being run over by a train. His legs almost cut off. This was the scene shortly after 8 this morning as George Perry was wheeled into an ambulance. Apparently, George jumped on a Norfolk Southern freight train after it stopped for repairs. He tried to jump off once the train got moving but was sucked underneath the rail cars. The teenager is in intensive care at St. Joseph Medical Center. Investigators hope to find out why later George got on that train. We'll have an update for you at 10 on Nightcast. An explosion at a refinery in Kentucky takes one life, and that story tops our look at the Midwest tonight. The blast occurred late this morning at an Ashland oil refinery in Catlisburg. A second worker was injured, and the refinery was evacuated for a while. However, residents were not forced from their homes. In Indianapolis, the State Court of Appeals today reversed the illegal abortion conviction against the man that you see on the right. The court ruled the five-year statute of limitations had run out when prosecutors charged Dr. Pravin Tucker. A jury convicted Tucker in 1991 on charges he performed illegal abortions on women he had gotten pregnant. The women were patients of his. The court upheld convictions on six other counts.
And finally, also in Indianapolis, two former Central State Hospital employees are facing reckless homicide charges tonight in connection with the bathtub drowning of a patient there last March. The employees were indicted today following a seven-month investigation. Governor Evan Bayh has ordered the hospital closed within the next 13 and a half months. It comes to your door once a month, and it's for a service most of us just couldn't do without. It's your friendly phone bill. But imagine if your bill went from dozens of dollars to thousands of bucks in just one month. It's a shocking problem I bring you in today's On Your Side Consumer Report. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Bye, we'll see you later. Judy's Steidel of Fort Wayne is used to talking to her husband long distance on the telephone. You see, Mr. Steidel drives this truck for a living all over the country. Usually, their phone bill is about $80 to $90 a month. But take a look at this. The Steidel's bill for April is 33 pages long, totaling more than 8000 bucks. When you opened this bill, what was your first impression? A uh, heart attack, really. You know, it's I knew there had to be a mistake because I don't know that many people. And I know my husband doesn't know that many people. It seems someone at a military base in Germany got a hold of Mr. Steidel's calling card and went wild. Calls were made all over the world, some totaling well over $100. Needless to say, the Steidels are petrified that they may end up footing the bill and GTE closing the door on them. My fear is getting my phone shut off for not being able to pay the $8,000. You know, you get this bill that says that much, and I mean, I don't make that in a year, let alone having one month bill for that. Well, Mrs. Steidel, there's really nothing to worry about. I called GTE, and the people there say you won't have to pay that astronomical bill. They are conducting a full investigation, and obviously your husband will be issued a new calling card very soon. Boy, uh, I think I'd have a I heart have attack never as well. seen that ever. So how I mean, could we avoid something like this? Well, in this case, the Steidels had no chance, but if you think someone has gotten a hold of your calling card number, you should just cancel it immediately. In some cases, you may actually be held responsible for calls rang up on your card if you don't take the proper precautions oh, okay. and it could be a very expensive lesson. Now, if you have a problem you'd like me to take care of, it's on your side. Joe Gregory, P.O. Box 1515, Fort Wayne, Indiana, 46801. 8,000 bucks. Wow. That would scare me. Yeah. Still to come here on News Channel 15 at 6, we'll tell you about an effort to plant nearly 2,000 apple trees here in the Summit City. And you're going to find out about something else that's becoming an annual event. <laughs> I'm at Fryman Square, where it's just ducky out tonight. I'll tell you more coming up. This is News Channel 15 at 6 with Ellen Akins and Joe Gregory, brought to you in part by Panel Mart. The best ideas are waiting here for you. Whether upgrading your kitchen or bath or building a brand new home, Paddle Mart's beautiful Homecrest showroom is the smart choice for the best ideas. Featuring over 20 displays of Homecrest cabinets with custom features at everyday low, low prices. See Paddle Mart for Armstrong ceiling tile and panels of every style and color. For the best ideas at the best price, it's Paddle Mart. Our business is your home at Paddle Mart. How fresh is Allen Dairy Milk? Well, come here and I'll show you. Come here. How's that for freshness? Ha, 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 Well, Betsy, we got ourselves another one. How good does Allen Dairy Milk taste? I'd say it's the best tasting milk you could buy. But maybe you should listen to the experts. can recover from alcohol dependency and still live at home. Call now. Call options at 436-LIFE. side airbag, plus an available 220 horsepower V8 and four-wheel anti-lock brakes. 
you won't always take your Jeep Grand Cherokee out in the wilderness. Sometimes you'll just take it out for a night on the town. Experience the award-winning Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo for about 22 one at your dealer now. See your local Jeep and Eagle dealer. Preparations for a big race are getting underway, and we're not talking about the Indianapolis 500. Oh, no, no. The race we're talking about is the fifth annual Great Fort Wayne Rubber Ducky Race. And to tell us more, let's go now to News Channel 15 weather specialist Sandy Thompson. Well, I'm out at Fryman Square. I'm getting a little bit of help tonight uh, preparing these ducks for the Great Rubber Ducky Race. We got Mary and we got Kyle right here who are busy working on some training techniques. And of course, I want you to meet Mindy, the mother duck. Hi, Mindy. Say hello to everybody at News Channel 15. Quack, quack. Yeah, see, <laughs> that's all she can say. Well, for some translators to tell you what's going on, take a walk with me over here. We got a big tent set up. We're having the grand kickoff tonight. And I know there are some people over here that can tell us about the event. You know Rachel Tobin Smith. She's uh, always with us with SCAN, which is Stop Child Abuse. And uh, you've got who? Mort with me tonight. Mort. Mort's Hi, the Mort. father duck, you know, and he's really <laughs> anxious to kick off the race. Well, uh, let's talk about race date. When is that? Race date is June 19th at Johnny Appleseed Park. Okay. And we're real excited. We're, our goal was $30,000. I bet we'll make that. I bet we will, too. If enough of you adopt ducks. Katie Walsh. I know Katie's always involved here uh, as far as stopping uh, child abuse and neglect right. in uh, raising funds for the rubber ducky race. Where can people go get a duck, adopt a duck? Adopt a duck at a lot of different um, outlets in the community. Wendy's, if you uh, adopt a duck at Wendy's, you get a free Frosty. Also, Kelch Pharmacies, Roger Markets, Fort Wayne National Banks, the Berry Patch Stores, Books, Music, and More. About anywhere in Fort Wayne. <laughs> Anywhere, just ask them, you know, are you adopting out ducks? And if they say no, ask them why they're not. And it's five bucks. Five bucks. And it's been a good chance to win some prizes. Five thousand dollars is our grand prize. I, speaking of five thousand dollars, we got a guy back here money. who's uh yeah, speaking of money, let's talk to the money man. This is Daryl Smith here. Daryl, tell me what the grand prize is and why you're giving it. Well, it's five thousand dollars, but the, the prize is for the kids. Of course it is, but That's now a... let's tell them who's donating this. Oh, it's Allied Hospital Pathology. See, I, I want them to recognize you because this is really a wonderful thing that you're doing. This is only one of the number of prizes, but obviously everybody would like a, a chance at that five thousand dollars. I sure hope so. The more ducks they buy, the, the more happy we'll all be. Well, let's go back over here and uh, see how the ducks are going. Uh, you got those uh, ducks under control, Mindy? Quack, quack, yeah, quack. okay. <laughs> well, I'm trying to keep the weather under control. We're glad we've got a tent up. I don't think we're going to need it tonight yet, but uh, you might need a tent tomorrow if you have some outdoor activities. I'll have the forecast coming up. WHAI Magic 95.1, News Channel 15 and Evans Toyota now give you the opportunity to see if you've won $100 and a chance at a $20,000 car of your choice at Evans Toyota. If you see your name here, you've got nine minutes and five seconds to call 467-9500 and claim your prize. Every weeknight at this time, we'll show you a new name on News Channel 15 at 6, but you can also win by listening to Magic 95 every morning at 715 and all day long. If you hear your name, call and claim your prize. Enter at Evans Toyota, News Channel 15 and Magic 95.1. If you're feeling left in the dark on health care reform, you're not alone. Early in May, the National Task Force is expected to release its report. The goal is quality health care for all. We have that goal in common. But the recommendations may leave you with questions. During the coming weeks, we plan to help you understand how the reform proposals might affect all of us. Because at Lutheran Hospital, we know when it comes to a healthier America, we're all in this together. Now there's a new way to save on the Ford Ranger XLT. Pick up a Chevy S10 Tahoe. Chevy works harder with more maximum cargo width and more maximum payload. Chevy works longer with greater fuel capacity and cruising miles. And Chevy works better with 5-speed transmission and a big 125 horsepower V6. Best of all, this Chevy S10 sells for $506 less, which brings down the budget deficit. Save on Chevy S10 Tahoe at your Northeast Indiana Chevy dealers. The John Deere 14PZ Walk Behind Mower has a five-horse engine, easy starting, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and over 40 other features. Plus something you probably didn't expect, a price of just $349, which means that for once in your life, 
you can get more than you bargained for. Stop by Reed Tractor Service in Huntington, East Allen Equipment in Woodburn, DuPont Lawn Equipment and Garden Center in Fort Wayne, or Troxel Equipment Company in Bluffton. Tonight's weather is brought to you by your Lincoln Mercury dealers. Oh, we, we are having a lot of fun down here at Prime and Square. Everybody's getting geared up in their T-shirts. Mindy's trying to get uh, everybody going in calisthenics here because the people that are uh, training the ducks also need to be in good shape. Well, let's talk about what's happening as far as weather. We know it's a nice night down here at Fryman Square. We have cloudy skies. 65 is the temperature. The winds are from the north at 12 miles per hour with the relative humidity at 33% and the barometer holding steady at 29.98 inches. Take a look at the flow of the jet stream tonight. That pretty well tells the story. We've got a cool down headed our way. This evening, we do have pleasant temperatures around the area, but as that jet stream sinks to the south, we will lose the warm air and we'll get some cold air in here for the rest of the week. For today, we reached a high of 69 degrees. It was quite pleasant all day long. A lot of sunshine, but that is changing rather quickly. And tonight we'll have mild temperatures in the low 50s for the overnight uh, uh, temperatures. This is what our current surface map looks like. We do have high pressure centering over the area that will be bringing us down some colder air, though, from the north. Now, our cloud cover this evening continuing to mount over the Hoosier State, and that will be on the increase during the night. And the rain showers are headed our way as well. You can see they're extending all the way back into uh, Colorado this evening. Very cold air up in the Dakotas and in Wisconsin. It is not switched over to snow, thank goodness, but daytime highs there were only in the 50s. These are the clouds as they came rolling on into the Fort Wayne area during the afternoon hours and will continue during the overnight hours as well. And along with those clouds, we do have a possibility of some scattered precipitation. Beginning in the northwest around 8 or 9 this evening, it probably won't be until midnight or after that we begin to see some around here. This is what it looks like on our own radar. We've got uh, some rain showers then directly off to our west, so kind of keep those umbrellas handy for Tuesday. I think we've got about an 80% probability that we will have Tuesday showers. For tonight, we are looking at uh, cloud cover throughout the area. It's going to be a mild evening. And then for tomorrow, look for clouds overhead all day long, an 80% chance for some rain showers. As far as tomorrow evening then, those rain showers continue to move off to the east. We'll find cooler weather moving on in here. And then Wednesday, you got it, the sunshine that is. It'll be coming back out again. As far as high temperatures during uh, the day, we will look at temperatures tomorrow reaching the low 60s. Well, let's take a look at our forecast for overnight. We're going to find a chance for some overnight shower activity and a low of 51 degrees. Tomorrow's high 63, cloudy and cooler, occasional rain and thunderstorms. And our forecast finds us with cooler air all the rest of the week, although it will be relatively dry with lots of sunshine. We are going to have uh, temperatures only around 61 on Wednesday, 64 on Thursday, and into the uh, uh, mid to upper 60s by the end of the week. Well, uh, all our ducks down here are training tonight on pizza. Ellen, I don't know, you do all these medical stories. I don't know how nutritious they're going to find this, but they told me it was the carbohydrates. So okay. They're getting ready for race day. Don't forget, June 16th. Right. They need that for they the, do. the race. They do. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Cheese helps them go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I so. think. Anyways, the Comets arrived back in Fort Wayne just a short while ago from San Diego. Coming up, we'll hear their thoughts on having a 2 to nothing lead Boy. in the Turner Cup Finals. Isn't that great? And we're going to introduce you to an indie veteran who hopes this year will be his lucky year. Sports is next. Want to know how to travel first class all the time? Mercury Grand Marquis. Even with the most fuel efficient V8 engine around, it still offers incredible room, great ride and comfort, not to mention the added security of standard dual airbags. It even has a trunk big enough to hold a trunk. Mercury Grand Marquis. Now more than ever, it's worth a trip to your Lincoln Mercury dealer today. Wednesday, May 19th is Gott's Food Zoo Day. 2% of all sales that day will be donated to the construction of the Indonesian Rainforest Exhibit at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. Save on fresh 75% lean ground beef, 5 pound or larger packages, just 99 cents a pound. And all varieties of Coke and Coke products. 24 packs, 12 ounce cans, just $3.77 with coupon. Look for these and other specials in this Tuesday's special Zoo Day newspaper insert. Shop during Zoo Day, Wednesday, May 19th at all Scott's Food Stores. 
When you need a trailer to haul something with four wheels or four legs, come to Zom Trailer Sales and Western Store in Huntington. Zoms have over 100 new and used equipment livestock and horse trailers. Custom built by TMF, Corn Pro livestock and equipment bottles, WW Trailers, Steel Designs by Diamond D, and steel and aluminum trailers from Sundowner. Financing available plus over 30 years of service and repair experience. Call Zom Trailer Sales and Western Store, the Tri-State's largest trailer dealer on the west side of Huntington off US 24. Remember three-hour breakfasts? Laughing till it hurt. Covered bridges and flea markets. Get your free Indiana travel guide and see how the best kind of fun is easy to afford again. You could use a little Indiana. Call 1-800-283-9898. It's just incredible. I cannot yes. believe they're up to nothing. No one would have thought. You said what comics you at six, Joey. I know. Could be wrapped up earlier than that. Yeah. That'd be great. We'll find out. We'll find out soon. It was a happy as can be bunch of comets who fell out of the sky about an hour and a half ago. And why not? They're back from San Diego with a 2 0 lead over the highly favored Gulls in the Turner Cup Finals. A bunch of faithful fans were there to greet the guys as well. Now, the Comets have outscored the Gulls by a combined 12 to 2 the first two games, and that makes for confidence, but not overconfidence, going into game three. Well, the next game's a big one. You know, it's uh, they're down 3 0 or 2 uh, 1. You know, that's a big difference, and, uh, you know, uh, that'll be a big key there. Uh, the next time on Wednesday. We knew we had to go into San Diego and play great hockey, you know, with the club they had this year and uh, the great offensive uh, team they had. Uh, we played great defense, Pokey played great again, and uh, offensively we scored some goals. And there still are a few standing room only tickets left for Game 3 Wednesday, but Game 4 on Friday is already a sellout. The Wizards in Springfield close out their four-game series at the stadium tonight. After getting embarrassed the first two games, the Wiz Kids came back to win 3-2 yesterday. That evened their season record at 17. The Wizards start another four-game home series tomorrow against South Bend. One game in the majors this afternoon, Houston San Fran tied at 7 in the 8th. In his 12-year IndyCar career, Scott Brayton hasn't won a race. But as any driver will tell you, if you're only going to win one, make it Indy. As News Channel 15 Sports Larry L reports, Brayton's getting ready to take his 12th shot at sports' biggest prize. Oh, that's right. <laughs> when you see Scott Brayton at work, you'd better pay attention. At 220 miles per hour, he's easy to miss. <laughs> getting to that blazing number requires methodical work. Work done physically at the Speedway for a month before the 500 and mentally before the month ever begins. The only thing that that uh, I really do is business as usual, and that approach is, is one that uh, I try to, you know, cover all the bases and yeah. try to learn and know as much about the car as possible. Putting together Mr. Bear Block to a finished product. Business as usual for Brayton is still the business of speed. At his Coldwater, Michigan garage, he builds all the Buick engines used at Indianapolis. While he runs a Ford Cosworth, he knows any power plant or any driver is capable of winning. I got to tell you, it's a crapshoot, and uh, anybody that's out there has a good chance at it. I like to see the mix. I think that uh, having Ford, Chevy, and a Buick combination there is good for the sport. I think that all three of the combinations have very strong potential in doing very well in the race, and I think that ultimately it's just going to come down to uh, right place, right time, right day. That right day hasn't come for Brayton yet. His best Indy finish is sixth, but as a racer and a businessman, he can't wait to finish first. And winning the Indianapolis 500 is kind of like, uh, well, it would be very difficult to put it into perspective in business because uh, it's instant success. It's a lotto. Larry L., New Channel 15 Sports. And Brayton qualified in the middle of row four at over 219 miles an hour. And Cecil Fielder starts out the Monday play of the day. Watch this mammoth homer off of Mike Mussina. They're trying to catch the ball in the upper deck. Forget about it. It hits the roof at Tiger Stadium, an estimated 475 feet. Well, about an extra 50 for falling back to earth there. You get a handshake, Cecil. Then it's Houston's third baseman, Ken Caminiti, literally into the dugout to grab that foul ball and grab a spot on my play of the day. That one, you love that when Cecil hits those big ones, don't you? I do. Cecil. 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 Uh -huh. Your turn. Okay, uh, coming up, we have that uh, story about how we, people want to make Fort Wayne as famous as Washington, D.C. for one reason. We'll tell you why.
Tom Raper, Midwest's largest, in business 29 years. But who's counting? Thousands of satisfied customers are counting. They're counting on Tom Raper for huge discounts on new and used motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, tent campers, truck campers, cargo trailers, truck caps, mobile wrench, and two-story homes. You can count on Tom Raper for your best deal. I-70, exit 149A, Richmond, Indiana. Open till 8, close Sunday. 29th anniversary sale. Today, Tom Raper's way. Just where would you get away to see the world's largest stalagmite? The birthplace of the Underground Railroad. And the country's largest horse troop on parade. If you had your free Indiana travel guide, you'd know exactly where. You could use a little Indiana. Call 1-800-274-6646 for travel discounts. 800-274-6646. Thus, our test showed Hardy's crispy chicken beat KFC. But did you compare it to KFC's crispy chicken? No. no. Isn't that because in taste tests, more people preferred KFC extra tasty crispy to Hardy's? Well, Mr. Beaver? I've made extra tasty crispy. I've sold extra tasty crispy. Your sir is no extra tasty crispy. Enjoy 10 pieces of delicious extra tasty crispy or original recipe chicken now for only $5.99. In Lake Edna or your neck of the woods. Worried about your interview tomorrow? Not if I could get some Z's. Nitol safely helps you fall asleep fast so you can get your Z's. Nitol or maximum strength Nitol. Nitol will help you get your Z's. Denture wearers, here's Jane Powell for Polydent. Worried about denture odor? You'll love new Mintier Double Action Polydent. A new Mintier Double Action tablet that fights tough stains and controls denture odor. Try new Double Action Polydent. He watched a man commit suicide, but Dr. Jack Kevorkian's lawyers say he didn't do anything wrong. Coming up tonight on Nightcast, did Kevorkian break a new state ban on assisted suicide by being present as a Michigan cancer patient took his life? Plus, we're going to look at a tragic train accident here in town today that sheared a man's legs off. Just what are the doctor's options in a case like this? You're going to find out tonight at 10 on Nightcast. And finally, tonight, an effort is underway to plant 1,994 apple trees in Fort Wayne in time for the city's big bicentennial celebration. The Apple Appeal Program, as it's called, kicked off this afternoon with the planting of a crab apple tree in the Takaoka Grove in front of Sears Pavilion. Already, many organizations and corporations have planted nearly 800 apple trees around the city. Look at that old guy. Bicentennial Committee hopes residents like you will plant trees as well. For more information, call the number on your screen. It's 427-1286. It's hoped Fort Wayne will be known for its apple trees, much like Washington, D.C. is known for its cherry trees. Johnny Appleseed there. I knew that. that I knew that. Yeah, he's, he's back again. Keeps always showing, showing up. up. <laughs> wow. Well, we I hope know. you'll show up at 10 o'clock. Yeah. We'll be here. We'll see you then.